take any crazy idea. Uh, oh, I don't know. It's hard to make up a very crazy one, like witches or something like that. And you tell about what people used to believe in witches. And, of course, nobody believes in witches now. And you say, how could they believe in witches? Then you turn around and you say, uh, let's see, what witches do we believe in now? It has to do with curiosity. It has to do with people wondering what makes something do something. And then to discover that if you try to get answers, that they're related to each other. The things that make the wind make the waves, and the war motion of water is like the motion of air, is like the motion of sand. The fact that things have common features turns out more and more universal. What we're looking for is how everything works, and how everything, what makes everything work. But it's curiosity as to where we are, what we are. It's very much more exciting to discover we're on a ball, half of it sticking upside down. It's spinning around in space. It's a mysterious force which holds us on. It's going around a great big glob of gas that's burning by a fuel, by a fire. That's completely different than the fire, any fire we can make. Well, now we can make that fire, nuclear fire. The world is strange. The whole universe is very strange. But you see, when you look at the details and you find out that the rules are very simple, of the game, the mechanical rules by which you can figure out exactly what's going to happen when the situation is simple. It's again this chess game business. If you were in just a corner where only a few pieces are involved, you can work out exactly what should happen. And you can always do that when there's only a few pieces. So you know you understand. And yet, in the real game, there's so, there's so many pieces you can't figure out what's going to happen. That's a much more exciting story to many people than the tales which other people used to make up. We worried about the universe, that we were living on the back of a turtle or something like that. They were wonderful stories, but the truth is so much more remarkable. I mean, you come in to me now as an interviewer, and you're asking me about the latest discoveries of the day. Nobody ever asks about a simple, ordinary phenomenon in the street. Oh, like, what about those colors? Or something like that. We have a nice interview, explain all about the colors. Butterfly wing, whole big deal. You don't care about it big final result. It's to take the world from another point of view.